Part 4, Character Dialogue, and, Working with a Scene. This is the part of the director's view, where, you can type in dialogue, or, you can record dialogue with your microphone, or, you can include a voice file from an external source. Examples of external sources for voice files, to import into MovieStorm, include, Audacity software, where you could record a human voice, and, Amazon.com, AWS, where you could enter text, and, receive synthesized voice mp3 files. We will be looking at that last option in this video. This is Mr. Thornberry's voice synthesized by MovieStorm. The countdown has started and where we know is in immediate danger. I wish I could tell you exactly who these people Please are. Please check the Movie Storm website for I other options they may offer. Now, we are at the Amazon.com AWS services site. They have a nice selection of voices. Okay. Around the first part of this year, I discovered their timeline. The countdown has started and the world we know is in immediate danger. I wish I could tell you exactly who these people are or more details from their plan. I All do know. All is okay, so I will download the mp3 of what we have just played. I'll play the complete mp3 for you in a moment. Now, I'm loading that mp3 into Movie Storm. Around the first part of this year I discovered their timeline. The countdown has started and the world we know is in immediate danger. I wish I could tell you exactly who these people are or more details from their plan. I do know. I'm removing a slide from the end of the scene by deleting it from the timeline. The Publisher's View this is where you make the video from your work. After you enter the file name and choose the resolution, you should be good to go. This is Movie Storm rendering the video. In a later video, we will review some of the completed scenes that are available in MovieStorm.